could describe your experience with sparring with Guggenheim and Kaiser? They were varied, deep, and multi-layered. Okay. To capsulize it, I would have to steal a line from a boxing article I read once on him long ago. It said, getting into the ring with Reuben Carter was going into a place where devils feared to tread. That would sum it up for me. I survived it. That's the best I can say. I had three or four good moments where I got to him. I was very strong, like him, but he was one of a kind. And if you study the films of his fight with George Benton, you'll see what he's capable of doing. It went 10 rounds. So instead of keying in on the Emil Griffith knockout or the Florentino Fernandez knockout or even his bout with Dick Tiger, you watch that fight and you realize Carter was not just a one-shot puncher. He really was a creature of fluid movement like a jaguar and that's what we had on the back of our ropes the black leopard you know a uh, little different than a jaguar but he was a little heavier than me so he was more like a jaguar I was more like a leopard but he would explode and the explosions were left uppercut to the body left hook to the head and a right hand behind it, and he would use this combination, and it would paralyze you, or a short chopping right hand to stun you, and then the sweeping left hook behind it at great speed. And Carter had an unusual jab, and although he looked like a plotter that had to set himself, he would surprise you, and uh, a very fast-handed fighter, and that's what Angelo Dundee, Muhammad Ali's corner man, categorized him as a very fast-handed fighter. And uh, I lived with him in training camp, off and on for several years. And uh, each swap session with him was life and death.